better get that. That's your dad. Can you answer it and talk to him first? I think not. Come on, don't make your dad wait. Wait, any dads get mad. I'm sorry, Dad. You know, I'm just a little confused. Did you not have money with you when you left the house this morning for school? Yeah, I did, but... She made a mistake. We all do. Besides, bad girls are more interesting. Uh, uh, uh. She did not get that from me. It's not your fault, Diana. I know that. Really? Yes, really. I'm not a saint. Now, there's Vanessa. We don't expect our daughter to be perfect. Well, you're very lucky to have her. I know that. That doesn't change the fact that we still got to get together with your mother and talk about this. I'll make up for it. I promise. You remember that, okay? Do as I say, not as I did. Okay? I have faith in you. Thank you for your help, Diane. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Shane? Shh. Hi. Hi. Where's Shane? He's out. Uh, have you talked to him lately? Not today. Why are you here? You know, has he said anything about Lara's father? You're about the closest person to him I know right now. Shane being close is still far. No, I know as much as you do. Uh, what he said in the courtroom about how much he loved her and now she's gone. Mm. Did you break in here? Uh, no, but somebody else did. And he works for Lara's father. He was here going through Shane's stuff? Look, you need to make that guy go away. Well, you don't see him here, do you? No, I mean, make him go away for good. Don't you think that it would help Shane to speak with Lara's father? You know, they could, I don't know, share in each other's loss or something? No. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna try calling Jeffrey, see if he's done with work. No, no, Shane. Jeffrey's already seen this, but you haven't. Come on, look. See, you can see his little hands and little feet. It's like little hope. You know, there are mornings when I wake up and I, I'm so sick from the chemo, just feeling plain scared. And then there's more mornings like this where I can look at him or I can feel him kick and I know that everything's going to be okay. And those are the mornings that I leave messages for him. Leave messages? Mm -hmm. I haven't told Jeffrey this yet, but I, I videotape messages for him just in case. Don't talk like that. I didn't know that I wasn't going to be around for you. But I do know that there's a chance I may not be around for him. So I have the camera with me now. Can, can you, it's in my bank right there. Sorry. Can you reach it? You want it right now? Please. Yeah. Do me a favor and videotape this for me. Please. Do you want me to make a video of the video? I do. Yeah, I want to be, you know, be able to see my little miracle baby whenever I want to. And who knows, maybe it'll be fun that that he, he'll be able to see it one day, right? And, and hopefully, when he gets older, I'll be around, we can watch it together. Okay, show it again, show it again. Come on, check it out. Check it out, baby boy. Look at that's you. You're so teeny tiny. There you go, Mrs. O'Neill. You're all done. Everything looks great. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Got it. No, you know what? I want you to uh, say something to your brother, too. Okay? Mm, no. No, it's okay. I'm okay. Come on. Please, right now. Right now, while we're both feeling so hopeful. Um, hi, I'm Shane, your brother, and, uh, I'm sure you already know that, and 
Mom, I don't know no, what to on, say no, right no, now. No, 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 come please. on, you're doing great. Go on. You're very lucky to have a mom like ours. That's, that's it for now, Mom. Please. I'm done. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You know, um, I wasn't trying to make you forget. Oh, no. You ready to go? No, I want to talk to you. Please, sit just for a minute. <clears throat> I don't expect you to get over losing Lara just like that. You may never get over it, but you will progress little by little because that's life. It's one day after another after another. You will get back to being you because believe me, I thought God was finished passing out the miracles and then I saw you get up and walk. You may not feel blessed right now, but you survived that explosion. And I'm surviving cancer again. We'll survive. We'll survive this. We will. I love you. <laughs> you don't like me. Of course I do. I do. I love you too. I, uh... I don't want your baby boy to see me screwing up those messages on the video recorder. I don't want him to ever need those messages. I want him to have you happy and healthy and dancing on the, the tabletops <laughs> at his 50th birthday. That's what his I want. His 50th? Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Let me do the math You'll be there. there I would. It. Okay, you know what? Look at me. You have done your mommy duties for the day. Put this on. I want you to go out and do something fun. Got it? <laughs> okay. And I will call you later. You should go. If Shane comes back, finds you here, he's gonna know something's up. What do you know about all this, Dinah? What I know is that I'm trying to help him because I want to, not because I have to, like some people. <laughs> I feel for the guy. He's, he's got lousy timing, what oh, can I say? Okay, yeah, you know what, there's the Jeffrey O'Neill I know. You know, um, I just wanna know what the guy's deal is, that's all. I'm trying to be patient. Helping Shane matters to you, right? Protecting my wife and my baby matters to me. Wrong answer. Just being honest, you ought to try it sometime. Mm -hmm. Go on. Do you really think you're helping Shane doing all this on your own? Do you think you're up to it? Jeffrey, I know what it feels like when everyone is watching you. Everyone's talking, everyone's worried, usually about themselves. And whatever problems are going through, they so conveniently blame you. So I'm not only up to helping Shane. I'm the best chance he's got. I need this as much as he does.
China. Reva. Please yell at someone else. I just saw him now. You did? How is he? He's as good as you'd expect him to be. He's walking, but then again, you already knew that. How did you know I know that? Well, there's a lot of things I know. Like the fact that you're the closest thing to a friend that Shane has right now. So I make it my business to know yours. Can you be at a memorial service? Shane wants a memorial service for Lara? Well, it was my idea. I'll email you the details, but I have to go now because I got a lot to pull together before tomorrow. Reva!